The other day I wanted to make a nice German sausage salad, but all of the stores around here were out of German bologna. So I decided, make your own bologna. That's what we're going to do today. We need pork, preferably something like pork shoulder with a little bit of fat in it. Uh, we need some lean beef, not a lot. And then we have a whole lot of pork fat. In terms of spices and other additives, we need pink cure. Caution, it's not the amount of pink cure that you would use in the US. This is a German pink cure with a very small percentage of nitrate. So look at the description down below the video. If you want to make this recipe, you either have to like thin the pink cure out with regular salt, or you have to use a lot less and then just add salt accordingly. I'll write that down in the description. So we have pink cure, we have phosphate. You can use a triphosphate containing uh, baking powder. This is a pure phosphate. You can just get that on Amazon. Then there's a mix of spices like pepper, cardamom, stuff like that. You'll find this in the recipe. I pre-ground this with the smallest setting my meat grinder has and afterwards you put this in the freezer so that it's kind of semi-frozen or just starts to freeze so that it's really, really cold. I also have some crushed ice in the fridge. I didn't pull this out because, well, it's gonna melt. All right, what else you need? You need a food processor. Keep the fat in the fridge while you're doing the other stuff because this goes in last and you don't want this to go kind of soft. All right, I'm going to just add my pork, add the beef, and I'm going to add the nitrate salt. Process this until it's really nice and fine. This machine is moving. If that happens to you and your machine is moving around, you can either use like a wet towel or I'm using a silicone placemat. You can find those on Amazon too. And then see, it's sitting like a rock. Okay, I think this is good enough for starters. Now we add all the spices, the entire spice mix. And we add the phosphate. And here's my ice. So I'm gonna add about half of the crushed ice here and keep processing. This is looking good so far. See how fine this is going? You want this as fine as possible. Add more ice. Now let's add about half of the fat. Oh yes, this looks very nice. Now add the remaining fat and keep processing. Okay, I think this is it. It's looking good. Let me quickly check the temperature. This should not exceed 12 degrees centigrade. We're at 12.2. In the meantime, I forgot to mention, set up a pot of salt water on your stove, like here behind me. The water temperature should not exceed 170 degrees or 75 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna fill this stuff into our casings. Now you need a sausage stuffer or you could use a big funnel because we are using pretty large uh, casing. So just fill this in here with as little air as possible. This is as much as we fit in here. Okay, I'll arrange it like this so you can see what I'm doing. And here I have a couple of casings and you just pull that up all the way to the end. And then you want to squeeze this in with as little air as possible. This is the first one. You just twist it, tie it up real tight. And there's your first sausage. It should be firm, you know, like a little bit like an air balloon that you blew up. You just repeat this process 
until you are running out of uh, the ground meat. There we have our three sausages, or two and a half better. And all we gotta do now is toss them in the hot water. As I said, below 170. Perfect would be like 168 or so, but 170 is fine. Just don't go much above it. And we let them in that kind of water temperature for about an hour. The thicker they are, the longer they take. So these might actually only take 45 minutes, but I leave them in an hour and we should be good to go. The water should be about the salt level of a soup. So I'm always tasting water. Good. Drop in your sausages. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Just to reiterate, you want this at about 75 degrees Celsius or uh, below 170 Fahrenheit, 165. Good temperature, I'm just gonna put a lid on and then we just wait for an hour until they're fully cooked. An hour has gone by and I'm guessing our bologna is ready. See how pretty? So what we do now is you put them in cold water to cool down, as simple as that. We wait another half hour to hour until they're cold and at that point you can eat them. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.